Hi, everybody. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And we have entered into day five of my Sarasota Tim challenge. Cowboy Tim, Tim Cup. Uh, oh, there's many a name depending on the persona that Tim is adopting. So it, it's hard to remember, but I am on video number 19. <laughs> And obviously, at the end of this, I'm going to do a live stream probably Monday. I'm just trying to think what the best time would be. And uh, probably earlier in the day, um, kind of summarizing <laughs> everything. Maybe what I've learned, kind of looking at some things, maybe some of the analytics, you know, just kind of the interest behind it. But anyway, let me just, uh, we got a morning chat. It's not very long. And uh, he actually hasn't put anything out so far. Well, I was just going to double check, but I don't know. The only thing I've seen so far is this morning chat, and I haven't even heard it yet. Um, but yeah, and I always want to thank everybody who's new, uh, subscribing and commenting and just engaging with the channel, whichever way you want to view the creator that is being commented on. So before we do get started, I did want to just say that obviously... This is a video just for entertainment purposes only. And the creator that I am speaking to, obviously I don't want any bullying towards him necessarily, um, but these also are only, only my opinions. <laughs> Let me get talking. Gosh, I'm tired from yesterday. Only my opinions and my opinions only, even though I am a registered nurse here in the United States and trained to be a psychiatric a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. Goodness me, get the words out today, right? Gosh, you can hear my voice is straight a little bit. But yeah, okay, and I have a year to go. Actually, July 25th, 2025, I want to say, was July 22nd. I think July 22nd was the last day of my clinical rotation that I could see on my classes upcoming. I finally... Got to see my degree plan, and I've got some very interesting classes on neuropsychology and so forth that I'm interested in kind of seeing how I can incorporate uh, more of my education into the channel. All right. But obviously, I'm never treating or diagnosing anybody, okay? So I'm never going to say I could speculate potentially about what's going on with somebody, uh, but I'm never going to treat a diagnose. I'm never going to say, I'm never going to say they are this, that, and the other. Uh, one thing that we understand in psychiatry is that you do need to have a good physical assessment of the patient. And obviously I am not physically assessing Tim. <laughs> so yes, it's, so there are things that's the reason why it's only ever able to be speculated by mental health professionals unless they've obviously had direct access to the person and have completed a full physical assessment too. Um, and that's one of my classes that I have coming up. So I have next, uh, coming up, uh, advanced pharmacology and advanced physical assessment. So that'd be interesting. <laughs> and then I do all my psychiatric meds. All right. I talked enough about me, but I'm excited because I finally saw the degree plan today and I've been waiting for that news. Okay. All right. So Tim's here and uh, let's get him going. Uh, let me make me small. <laughs> so yeah, just for anybody who's interested in, you know, why I feel that I have a little bit of expertise to talk about uh, Tim and his cult of personality and uh, some of the potential problematic personality styles I may start to see as I observe him over time and certain characteristics. And obviously it's interesting because people show, uh, it's, it's interesting how people portray themselves in social media. And then we see a lot of cases where these people behind the scenes can be sometimes very problematic. So I think there's a lot to do with charisma and it's fascinating. So anyway, luckily we're short today. Let me put in 1.25. I talked enough about me. I feel like Tim today. I'm just trying to get warmed up, I think, <laughs> to the reactions. By the end, I'm like, okay, okay. All right, Tim, take it away. Hey, good morning, everybody. Sir, so Tim. Oh, my gosh. Don't look at me. Ooh, 
Ooh, I just had a few sips so far of this coffee here. <laughs> Happens to be the best cup of coffee I've been drinking in my life. Of course. What else would it be? Has to be I'm praying coffee. that it works. Um, it's the stuff right here. Uh, he's hey, let me tell you. Sponsorship? I need it to work. Last night, it was like mm. a couple of wine heads hanging out drinking. Mm. Well, there was no alcohol involved. But uh, John and I, next door, my subscriber, uh, a really sweet guy and his wife, Bev, <laughs> she came out and I met her and gave her a hug. I'm wearing that nice shirt they gave me. Oh, gosh. Yeah, pretty, pretty blue color. Oh, um, I can't just... That was very nice of him. Uh, my mother said, if I have nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. I mean, the shirt's a, a nice looking shirt. It, and it was very nice of him. It's more about Tim and how Tim acquires things. His golf clubs, his golf shirts. Oh, he's very content with himself. Look at look at this. He's, he's living the high life. He's never lived so good. That's, a, that's what I sense with Tim. Is that he's somebody that's he, he very much enjoys the attention. John actually had a YouTube channel. He still has it, but he doesn't really upload much anymore. He's uh, I think he said 70. That guy can run circles around me. He got some energy, man. And uh <clears throat> we both had want to try to outdo each other, you know. Most healthy 70-year-olds are very energetic still. I've worked with many patients in their 70s, and I have found most are actually, and these are after like cardiac events, big cardiac events, are still very active. <laughs> and uh, I'm very excited because I have a, a class coming up about nutrition and aging and cardiac rehab. It just happened to come free through a, an association I'm a member of. So I'm very fascinated in these things. So I actually have some expertise. I'm not, you know, just a commentator per se. <laughs> On telling stories. I have a story. He got a story. We got to one up each other. We sat outside last night and yesterday was an excessive heat wave. Uh, we got to get today. I was out of here. I said yesterday, the camper, here's what's going on. Yeah, you were mad. My first negative about what they've been saying. Wish I had my mic on because the AC's going. An air conditioner. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were a professional YouTuber. You probably put out a hundred morning chats, I'm sure, by this point. Probably more. I'm probably underestimating the number of morning chats that you have had. <laughs> Just called morning chat. It's probably a lot, actually. I, I definitely underestimated it. It's gotta be three, four or five hundred probably. <laughs> He's done like one a day for two years. But anyway, sorry, I got off my point. You know to put a microphone on, Tim. You know if you have those noises, the good thing to do is put a microphone on. I, for example, am very interested in potentially starting a second channel about being a older graduate student and also some of the difficulties or not so much difficulties, but you know, some of the obstacles I should say. Um, and obviously it's going to be stressful, um, especially going into the healthcare field uh, or continuing advancing my career in the healthcare field, I should say. But yeah, I did buy myself a selfie stick today because my other one broke. <laughs> so I was excited about that. But Tim, you know, to get equipment, See, I've got a ring light going, all sorts of stuff. I mean, my setup was pretty basic, but come on, give it a little effort. Conditioner will only cool your ambient temperature 20 degrees. All right, so it's 100, it'll cool it down to 80. But 80 degrees, when it's 100, feels pretty comfortable. If it's 90 and it gets it down to 70, that could actually be chilly. That's like lower than most people keep their air conditioning. So you got up to 100 degrees, 13,500 BTU air conditioning. Okay. Cool, whole camper. Okay. But what I do is, <laughs> I know I look like hell. 1.30 in the morning, we're, we're sitting here talking. I'll mm. get it to it in a minute. Oh, but what God. I do is I, I take this door and I close it. And the air conditioning, mm. it has these uh, 
Well, yeah, but there's These a couch, ducks. isn't there? So in the bedroom back there, I'll... Uh, I thought it looked like there was, like, um, an opening on the top of that door. <laughs> Sorry, I had an itch on my foot. Uh, I thought that it looked like there was an opening there. So I was just like mid scratch, <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. This I need to hear what his sense on this is. Close them off, and the bathroom. And yesterday, oh, so to blow more up here, you know. Is it oh my gosh, I went back there yesterday. You talking about an oven? Woo! Because I'm trying to do all I can to be comfortable last night until dark, sitting in this chair. Burning up. This thing didn't shut off for hours. And it was 113 degrees yesterday. Mm. That means it could cool it down to what? What's 20 from 113? <laughs> Don't ask me yet. 83. Bottom line is, it didn't feel like I, it felt like <laughs> better in here than it did outside. Uh, but it wasn't um, very Since he struggled, it was 83. <laughs> no, 93. Sorry. God, now I sound worse. <laughs> Sorry. Did he say 103 or 113? I think he said 113. So let's make it 93. 93. Oh, okay. Gosh, I'm, I'm not paying great attention to Tim. That's the problem. <laughs> it's like... And when I went to the restroom and opened that door and went back there, good <laughs> Lord. So I was worried that I couldn't sleep in here last night. So I um, went ahead and popped these vents back, back open in the bedroom and the bathroom so that <laughs> it would it would cool that down. So there's a story. There's a point in my story. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What time is it? It's 7 -0. I still can't believe I probably messed up my math because <laughs> I was like. I don't know. I'm not paying a lot of attention. I just know it's, it was easy because it's just like take tens off. <laughs> it's like, but then I just like took too many tens for a minute. <laughs> it would have been, anyway. Tim, what are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, I am paying. I need to pay attention. Oh, look, that's a good face. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Need to pay some attention to you, Tim. I guess it's Friday. I'm getting excited that I'm getting closer and closer to the end of this challenge, and uh, feel a little bit better too. Um, not a hundred percent, but much better. Okay, keep going, keep going. Eight. Ten oh eight in about. West Palm Beach. Miss T's already texted me. I was laying in bed 15 minutes ago, but I got to get up because I got to tell you about what's going to be happening. I'm out of here. But not today. <laughs> Can't believe a damn thing I say. Mm. So, um, oh, you're such a trickster, folks. I told you how hot it was yesterday. We talked about it on a video. Yes, about 15 minutes. It's dang hot. I mean, hot. And I'm yes, you talked about that yesterday in a video for over 15 minutes, where you petrified me while you drove with the camera switching hands. I remember. I can't forget. <laughs> so you look at the uh, phone. Look at the weather thing. And I'm thinking, okay, uh, I'm looking at the daily, the hourly. I'm, I'm imagining that this heat wave will, is going to pass and some cold front's going to come. And all this is going to, we're just getting started. What am I thinking? Who am I fooling? I should have been out here a week ago. But I hung around for Timmy. But I didn't know what this 110 plus was like. You don't want to be here, folks. If you got a sticks and bricks 110. with a, um, a home air conditioner that can keep it cold as you want, a real air conditioner. <laughs> in a house or a mobile home that's got one of those, you're fine here. You're, you're, you're fine. You get up in the morning, <clears throat> you know, you go do your stuff with the jackrabbits. You grab your canteen, you run along with them down the road, and then you go in the house and you watch TV. And then later on, you know, dark, <laughs> or when the sun gets low, it's about dark. If you want to run around some more and go to the store or do what you got to do, then you can go do that. But you're not taking no walk in the afternoon. You're not going golfing in the middle of the afternoon. You're not coming outside. Hell no. I mean, it gets hot and humid here in Virginia. I promise you, it was 97 degrees just this afternoon when I went out. It's like a wall when you walk out in that heat sometimes. I remember coming here when I was younger, and I was obviously grew up in the UK, and uh, but my mother was from here. It's a long story. <laughs> anyway, I would be here in Virginia Beach 
you know, I, I guess I dox my own city. I don't mind. I'm proud to be in Virginia Beach. Anyway, um, so being from Virginia Beach and living in England, I came back to visit every once in a blue moon, my grandmother, and obviously the heat was just incredible because it'd be the summertime. I get summer jobs and get outside from like this food lion supermarket and get out and boom, you hit that wall of heat. It's incredible. I'm far more used to it, except when the summer, it's coming. It's getting that way already. It's going to be, it feels like it's going to be a hot summer because it got hot early this year. You're hiding. You're hiding. And uh, rattlesnakes, man, they're hiding too. It's a scorcher. It literally burns your skin. It's so hot. And uh, yeah, there's that wind that feels like a heater blowing on you. If a breeze comes up, it's like hot air. But without the wind, it's just cooking. So uh, I was talking to Johnny Vegas yesterday, and I wanted to go to Kingman and play golf because, believe me, at 3,300 feet, when you can get down below the 110 and get around the uh, 100, 100, I'm telling you, folks, it's fine. It is fine. 100 degrees. Who's calling? Huh? Oh, Who's God. that? Oh, gosh. Really? Oh. Oh, wow. This was not the face I expected to suddenly come up so close to me. Uh, uh, that was a weight. I was like, oh. Uh, oh, it's content. You just can't let it go. You're supposed to be caught. I mean, gosh. It could just be a scam. <laughs> Oh, Tim. <laughs> I, just, I, can't. <laughs> I stayed up late doing his content last night. What can I say? <laughs> but this is so, he's so professional. No microphone, face right there. It's just, you know, not that my setup is that great, but at least a level <laughs> of professionalism, at least in the content. Because since you have so many subscribers, it's not like you're a channel with 200 subs. Hang on, it's my neighbor. All right, everybody. This is uh, several minutes later. Uh, Bev and John, oh. who have this class B right here, okay. uh, came over and had coffee with me this morning. Oh, that's and nice. I think I needed to get my mic. I think it's in the uh, in the camper. I keep trying to get everything. Uh, John's going to go golfing with me. He doesn't know how to oh. golf. He's just going to ride and oh. video for me. I'm going to try and uh, get him to hit one with oh, one of the yeah. irons or something. Uh, but uh, yeah. Bev's going to go to the casino. Mm, yeah, uh, she's smart. Is my mic in here? No, it's in the truck. All right. So we got everything. And I'm just going to get out of this heat. It's just going to be hot here. Yeah, Bev sounds like she knows what to do. <laughs> Bev's like, yeah, I'm losing these two. You know, she's like probably happy to. Who knows who's doing the most talking? John or or, or Tim? Who knows? <laughs> Oh gosh, does that mean we're gonna get like a long golf video filmed by his camper neighbor? Oh, it doesn't get any better than this, does it, guys? Oh, keep going, keep going. This has got his glaucoma glasses on. Keep going. No, I'm just teasing. You know, I have some dark uh, mirror uh, in that blue too, so I can, I I would look the same way. I was up till one in the morning. Like I say I look like hell. And I'm going to wear oh, glasses and a hat face. so nobody can see me. And uh, like I said, Bev, they got a little doggy. Uh, the air conditioning runs all day. They're on shore power. Uh, that's their class B. And it's already, I'm on the surface of the sun here. Another excessive heat wave coming. And the camera might even shut down. I don't know, but it's supposed to be much better in Kingman. So we're going there, 3,500 uh, altitude, and play um, uh, Serbat uh, Cliffs uh, golf course. And I'm sure I'm going to be able to get off with no problem. I got to find me a deal. And uh, that's your beautiful uh, Dodge Ram Class B. And uh, he watches all the videos. He knew about the steps right here mm -hmm. and the bathroom. There's the casino mm -hmm. that you'll be going to, playing around a little bit on the slots. Uh, there's me right here. I've got the uh, crusher in the uh, parking garage out there. I washed it yesterday. It's all nice. I just, I just, every time I see that camper in the truck, I just think EIDL loan. He just thinks he's balling out there he was law he just can't wait to get a house to park that thing in front of he's just cannot wait he just look at me 
Got this brand new Flagstaff. Hey. <laughs> you just know it runs through his mind. Damn, people are starting to feel that you are very disingenuous with your content and that your talk of minimalism and other things were really not true. It was just because you didn't have anything. You were, or actually, I heard some funny um, uh, people and they were saying that you did minimal work. And we know you hate people who work or, or people who work prison jobs. It's okay if you have a side hustle. Not a and um, so I'm gonna have to put the bag in the back of the truck, make room for him in the front Damn. seat, and we're uh, we're out of here. So I'll put this one up for you guys, and we'll get out there on the golf course. And he's gonna video for me. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate the shirt that he gave me. Mm -hmm. We're gonna crush it. So yeah, I uh, cleaned the truck up, and I parked it in here to get it out of the heat yesterday. And uh, I'm gonna show you the shiny, nice new job I did on the crusher. Well, I understand that. That is one of your skills is detailing and not to be rude, which is nice. The car looks great. That's something that you could do as a job. I guess that could be a side hustle. I got to make room for John. You can't see it right now because it's dark in here, uh, but it had, it was pretty dirty. I did a pretty good job on it. It's like the fifth time I've washed it here because uh, the dust that. it blows. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get all this out of the front seat, put it in the back here. Mm -hmm. uh, so Mr. John, can I introduce you to the channel? Sure. So this is Mr. John, my buddy. And uh, he's from uh, Florida. He lives in the villages. And uh, he's also, uh, in the past, had a YouTube channel I mentioned earlier in the clip. Uh, he doesn't upload too much. but uh, Oh, gosh. We're not going after John, anybody. If he enjoys Tim's content and he's off in the villages, let him be. You know? <laughs> he's living his best life. He probably worked. I'm surprised that... I'm always surprised with people that probably worked hard and, and uh, attained assets why would you want to hang out with someone like Tim who says such really critically terrible things about people who work? This used to be a country that people prided themselves to work. Tim is like acting like work is a crime against humanity past a certain age. <laughs> he would love to be bowling at the villages with old John here. He's, uh, he's a really cool guy, him and his wife, Bev. Absolutely. And we've been really getting acquainted, like I've done with a lot of my subscribers. I appreciate you coming along today and helping me out with the videoing. Sure. All right, so oh, let's get ready, oh, and uh, nice we'll, we'll uh, bring you some more later. <laughs> oh, I'm going to stop showing. I hope you don't burn down that relationship, Tim. <laughs> All right. Well, that was actually a nice little quick um tim video there so let's just keep it that way um i do appreciate all of you who have recently subscribed um i did want to thank um so yeah if you have not subscribed yet i certainly do appreciate it it does help me get my content up the algorithm actually goes towards helping me as i work my way through grad school um and i appreciate everybody who has taken the time oh i haven't added blind views i need to add blind views but Blind Views also became a member of the Life and Vibe community. Got two tiers. There's a join button down below if you're interested. You can also buy me a coffee like Tim since it's always the best cup of coffee in the world. All right, guys. And I appreciate all of you who have done that so far because it's uh, been very beneficial. Thank you, guys. All right. <laughs> my dry bag is huge. What am I doing? I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have that dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? No, no.